Before the Super Bowl, Bill O'Reilly sat down with Barack Obama. It was actually his third time interviewing him, and this is by far the most, uh, I guess, the most hostile interview he's had with the president. And now, in the wake of it, a lot of people have felt like he was disrespectful. He didn't let the president speak. One person who was making that case is uh, Dana Milbank at the Washington Post, and he wrote an editorial that included these quotes. O'Reilly had 10 minutes to question the man he decries to millions nightly. O'Reilly devoted nearly 40% of his time to the attacks on U.S. facilities in Benghazi, 30% to the Obamacare rollout, and 20% to IRS targeting. Along the way, he interrupted the president 42 times by my count, although given the amount O'Reilly spoke, it may be more accurate to say Obama was interrupting him. And Obama did literally have to interrupt him from time to time. Sometimes he argued with Obama as though the president were a guest on the O'Reilly factor, and this is the mind-blowing stat. Of the 2,500 words uttered during the interview, O'Reilly spoke nearly 1,000 of them. That is, dude, you're interviewing the president. Let the man speak. Yeah, so let me jump in. Um, was that too critical? No. no. All he did was state the facts. He stated Bill numbers. Bill O'Reilly hates it when you state the yeah, facts. That's why he hates Media Matters so much. Tide goes in. Tide goes out. Yeah. No one can explain it. 1,000 words while you're interviewing the president? You can't explain that. Uh, but he is going to respond to it, though. So uh, let's see. O'Reilly was uh, on the Hugh Hewitt conservative radio show, and that got under his skin a bit. And here's him talking about it. I think I was respectful to him. Um, you know, the far left kooks like this nut at the Washington Post, Milbank. But he's a dishonest man, uh, Milbank. Um, but it distresses me that we, we have a, a crime in this country where journalists are just lying. I mean, this guy, Milbank, that was on page two of the Washington Post today. He just lied. You know, even if people don't like me, didn't go that far. Would you invite Dana Milbank on your show? Probably not. He's a weasel, in my opinion, beneath contempt. Um, I probably would not invite him on the program. Number one, the audience despises him. And number two, I don't really care what he says. I care that the Washington Post employs him. That's what I care about. Whatever he says doesn't bother me, because I know where it's coming from. But the fact that the Washington Post would employ a guy like that I mean, it's, it's really disturbing. Just but I'm not on a jihad against Milbank. I'm on a jihad, a holy war, against declining standards of journalism. The Washington Post editors, if they watched the interview, which God knows if they did or not, had to know that Milbank was lying. And they had to know that he was lying for a reason, that he's a far-left zealot. So it's okay to be a liberal columnist, but once you... Once you cross the line into lying to promote what you want, then the paper's got to take action. You just can't have, and you go, well, it was my opinion. And you look at him and you go, that's insane. All right, that's like saying that Barack Obama was a stand-up comic during the interview. I mean, <laughs> it's, just, it's ridiculous. All right, so let me it's let... ridiculous, what are you doing on page two? But, so you can't just say he's lying. Which lie? No. He, he cited specific numbers there. Almost 1,000 words, interrupted 42 times. If that's wrong, Bo Bill, you've got the producers. They can research it no. and then lay out, no, I actually only interrupted him 37 times. If someone was trying to explain what projection is, that video would be <laughs> the perfect exactly example of projection. Yeah. Okay, uh, Milbank is a far left zealot. Because Bill O'Reilly isn't a far right zealot at no. all, right? But by the way, all Milbank did was he stated the facts. Yeah. He said, all right, out of the 2,500 words spoken during this interview, Bill O'Reilly spoke 1,000. Yeah. Because he kept interrupting the president. I mean, anyone who watches that video can see him interrupting the president over Constantly. and over again. Um, and then he talks about how he doesn't care what, uh, you know, Milbank says. Yeah. Right? I don't, oh, no, I don't, he doesn't I don't care, care at what all. that he weasel says. How can anyone employ him? I don't, I don't care. Yeah. You obviously do care because yeah. you can't stop insulting him. He also says, uh, my audience doesn't like this guy. Yeah, you call him a weasel constantly and a zealot and stuff yeah. like that. Not surprising that they don't like him. But also, I don't. Was I the only one that caught that he willingly said he was on a jihad? On a holy war. If yes. Obama said that, if oh. Jake said that, heads would oh, be exploding. Let's, let's simultaneously do it simultaneously. Okay. okay. <laughs> like there's no question. Somebody animate that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, he just said he was on a jihad, and he used the word zealot, which, by the way, is much the same language. Man, this guy's got holy war on the brain lately. 
But anyway, yeah. So I feel like Obama, he was too nice to O'Reilly during the interview. A president expects a certain level of respect, I guess. I think sometimes too much. But he didn't even get that amount from O'Reilly. But I love how you, you, we had yesterday on the show a great montage of how they've been uh, circling the wagons. And uh, Megyn Kelly, by the way, I don't know if we mentioned this. He said, I do think it's interesting, she said, I do think it's interesting that the president seems so focused on us, speaking about Fox News. I never heard President Bush do this about MSNBC. He was taking his licks like a man. It's like, don't oh. talk about the president. Need First of all, don't talk about the president not being a man. Second of all, I'm going to reiterate this. Don't say taking the licks. Like, that just exactly. <laughs> makes me uncomfortable. Mm, yeah. yeah don't, <laughs> don't say that about Hillary Clinton, for instance. Yeah, and uh, by the way, women, <laughs> stop saying what makes a man a real man. Men, stop saying what makes a woman a real woman. I think that we should be able to decide that on our own, especially yeah. when you're talking about the freaking president.